now if I click on the file new I'm saying click on this one new k9 workflow now I'm saying decision tree decision tree finish you need the data where you are reading the data if you have the csv format data then definitely you have to select the csv node or i'm saying csv if you click on the reader so you can see it's giving you the file reader excel reader arff reader csv reader so i all so now i'm reading as a csv so right click configure select your data where is your data my data is available in my thesis and these are the results sorry now i'm saying it's unsupervised learning okay now i have the data so this is the data remove has row header so i don't have the row header so that's why i'm unchecked if you have the row header then definitely you have to check this one apply okay now right click execute this bad boy so now right click file table so i have my own data i have created this data by myself so these are the continuous variables so you can see and this is the discrete and this is also the discrete okay now I have these one extra column so that's why I need the filter sorry for that I'm just copying the oh, okay fine I'm just cop filter so filter column giving the node this one right click configure I'm saying remove the row ID apply okay now you need two nodes partitions partitioning node so you have to partitions the data into two form one is the one is for training and one is for testing so right click execute so you have few options i'm saying relative i'm saying 80 percent that means i need 80 percent for the training and 20 percent for the testing you also have some other options like uh, stratified sampling you can also select the certified stratified samplings or linear samplings take from top or something like that okay so i'm not teaching you here the stratified sampling so apply okay so right click execute this bad boy so now you have your data you have partition now you need two nodes i'm saying three so as you can see it's showing you the decision tree learner decision tree predictor you need both two nodes so decision tree learner and decision tree predictor here so 80 percent for the training 20 percent for the testing and just drag and drop this now right click configurations you have some few settings the targeted column or the class column is the cluster now you have two options gain index and the gain ratios okay now i'm selecting the can gain index so you have puring methods i'm saying no puring methods reduce error puring okay minimum number records per nodes i'm saying two you can also increase this it's totally depend upon your requirement number records to store for view i'm saying 10000 okay now you have some other options you can also check this force root split column so so i'm unchecking this one so this is this is the basic setting k9 is providing you so i'm saying apply okay now right click execute the last node it, when you execute the last node it will automatically execute your previous node so now you have executed your nodes so right click click on decision tree view 
so as you can see it's showing you the tree so so this is your tree line statement okay now if you click on the file export so you can export this picture as a ping or svg it's really depend upon you okay now right click you also have the decisions tree sampling so this is the decision tree sampling or right click you can also click on the decision tree model so this is the decision tree model fine now you need the scorer to check your accuracy i'm saying scorer so this is the scorer right click configurations your first column is the cluster second column is the predictor prediction cluster apply okay control f7 press f7 or right click click on the execute but both are the same things now right click if you want to view the confusion matrix just click on this one so this is the confusion matrix for your model or right click you can also view the accuracy of the of your models now i'm saying confusion matrix so now as you can see i have the accuracy 90% 95% accuracy for the same data which we have used in our multilayer perceptron in our previous lectures so 95% accuracy decision tree is performing the better as multilayer perceptron so with the same data so now if you click on the confusion matrix so as you can see it's saying 35% accuracy now with the same data set you have the 95% accuracy so it's totally depend upon your data and your uh, your requirement and your goals so in this way you can create the decision tree model or you can also use some other nodes if you if you definitely need them so i hope you are enjoying the knm series if you think we are doing good feel free to share our courses and also the videos so don't forget to click on the subscribe button so thank you for watching